Now God promised spiritual Eve at Pentecost. Told it even before it happened, 400 years before the church ever fell, that they would fall away and they would do what they've done. But He promised in the last days He'd send the word again. Amen. Now notice. Now, here we are at the end time. And spiritual Eve, just as nat as Hebrew Eve was promised, the Hebrew bride was promised the word to return. And the spiritual bride from Pentecost, when she fell at Nicaea, then she's promised in the last days that the word will come again. Now you say, and to go to another scripture, take over here at Revelation 10. And said, in the hour, the time of the, the last angel, the seventh angel, seventh messenger, Amen. begins to sound, the mystery of God is finished. Amen. The restoration back to the Word. The Bible said that this the message of the last days would be restore them back to the original faith again. Amen. Back to the faith of the fathers. But do you think they receive it? No, sir. Last days, he would restore the original word again. As it said in Malachi 4, God oh. promised in the last days that he would manifest and would vindicate Amen. his word to her. And still, she wouldn't do it. All that God promised her by his servants, the prophets. God promised through Jesus Christ. God promised through Joel. God promised through Paul. God promised through Malachi. John, God promised through John the Revelator. All them prophets just did exactly what the last message would be to her. Now, if you want to write them down, of course, you all know them. Jesus, John 14, 12. And Joel, Joel 2, 38. Paul, 2 Timothy 3. Uh, Malachi, fourth chapter, and John the Revelator, uh, Revelations 10, 17, 1 to 17. See? Exactly what would take place now. Amen. And to the church, what is it? The incarnate Word made flesh amongst His people again. Amen. And they just don't believe it. Amen. Amen. Look, what are some men walking here with nail scars in his hands and, and, and stuff all over his face and blood and so forth? Any hypocrite could do that. Yes. And remember, Jesus won't come like that. When he comes like that, time will be no more. There'll be no more time when he comes like that. Now remember, I cannot heal no one, no other man can heal no one, but your faith in what is Christ is what does the healing. Now, if he'll make himself known here, like he did, identify himself like this as he did in other days, would you know him by that? Yes. That's the only way he said he'd identify himself. That's the only way he ever did identify himself. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. You just take it to him and say, Lord God, that preacher don't know me. And let me touch your garment, but you speak through him. If he's the same yesterday and forever, he'll act the same way. He's in human flesh now, acting out, redeeming his people. Now. He appeared as the physical body, looked just exactly like Hoffman's head of Christ at 33, and blood running out of his hand and so forth, nail scars all over him. I wouldn't accept it. No, no. No, no. When he comes himself, ever eye shall see him, ever tongue shall confess him. And as the lightning cometh from the east and to the west, so shall it be. See? We don't believe these cults and clans. We believe God is the Word. But he embodies himself, taking your body and my body. He gives you gifts, gives me gifts, and through these gifts, he makes himself known. That's the secret food. No matter how much you make yourself known by me, you've got to believe it. You've got to have a gift of faith, too, to believe it. You believe that? Yes. And now, if he will manifest himself in that manner, will you believe him? With all your heart, you'll believe him. Oh, how wonderful. Just waiting on him. Just waiting to see what he said. This is exactly in season what he said he would do. And as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. When the Son of Man shall be revealed. See? 
Behold, I send to you Elijah the prophet before the great and terrible day of the Lord. He shall restore the hearts of the people back to the Father. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to see the risen Messiah. 1900 years of all kinds of theology and movements but still in the darkness of all of it, you promised that you would appear here in the last days, in this solemn day, and you'd make yourself known to the children of Abraham. They call the elected. And here you are tonight, after 1900 years, you're just as much alive tonight as you was when you talked to the woman at the well. It's God manifested in flesh, now in the flesh of his bride. For the bride and the husband is the same self-flesh. These two are one. And the church is becoming the bride all the time by believing the Word so that the Word and the church becomes the same. The Word in the church, making it the bride, the last sign, God identifying Himself, the Word in the church.